What we found is the role of the teacher when we, you're working in this PBL situation is uh, we've had zero talk and chalk for the last five weeks. We've um, been role of facilitator with logistics managers, yes, <laughs> events um. coordinators. Um, so our role really has just been facilitating the boys in enabling them to. Um, complete their projects. And I think that there's a big emphasis on the fact that we are still learners. Absolutely. We are embracing yes. this uh, opportunity really to learn more, not only in technology and about our students, but in different ways to deliver important content. Um, and I think if we model for our students that we're still willing to learn, we're giving them the idea that they should always be learning and you know Absolutely. we've approached this with you know what we could call a growth mindset because we both believe strongly that we um, can learn this we can change education and we can make it more engaging yeah. ultimately for students so uh, the end result for this project is that we actually have the chance to present this at an international conference which is called the bridges festival so we're meeting up with hundreds of other schools that have also been working on this bridges project we however are the only high school um, group out of the whole festival so we're really looking forward to that we get to travel to China we will do the presentations twice we middle we visit middle of uh, China in Chongqing and then we head off to Beijing yes. as well uh, so we get to have some professional development in terms of presenting but we're also um, we're giving them insight into the PBL model, I think, which is really important because China has been traditionally a country that's founded its education on very didactic techniques. And I think that they're starting to look at data that's supporting the idea that education has to change and we have to bring about this change to further engage our students and get more from them. And we're really giving those teachers an insight into what it's like and how the role of a teacher is changing. And that all leads to the fact that our, our students need to have the experience of what the real world is. And at the moment, um, you know, industries are finding that their, their students that are coming through don't have the skills that industries mm, need. Absolutely. So what we've definitely seen with our students is that they, they have critical thinking, they, um, they are learning how to learn and where to find information and all those kind of things. So we're really looking forward to showing the Chinese authorities, you know, where education needs to go. And I think just from a collaboration and networking perspective, our students are learning not only how to reach out and cold call or to start a communication or a dialogue with others, they're learning things about how important it is to say thank you when somebody has helped in that our students write thank you emails to any participants and these are key things that ensure that networks that you establish in the real world are sustainable and that people come back to you willingly. So I think I'm both of us are so proud of what our boys have put together. I come into this class every day so excited and happy because I know we've changed how they learn and I really don't know what to expect <laughs> at any given day. I could be dissecting a heart or I could be gluing eyes onto Lego pieces for some of our students. It doesn't matter, it's all new and it's all yeah. fantastic. So in a nutshell, it's been an absolute whirl and we can say for ourselves how much we have learnt Absolutely. and we do it all again in a, in a heartbeat. Yeah.